Hello everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to change the colors on your WordPress website. I've been providing support to WordPress users since 2010. And one of the most common questions that I get is about changing colors of different elements. It can be a background color, a button color, text color or something else. So I decided to make this tutorial for absolute beginners. Don't worry, I will keep this as simple as possible. In just a few minutes, you will be able to make changes without paying anyone to do this for you. To accomplish this, we will need just access to the Google Chrome browser. Ready to get started? Let's go! For this tutorial, I will be using the free EduPress theme, which is available on WordPress.org. This theme provides an easy way to change some of the default colors directly from the customized page. But what if your theme doesn't offer such an option? Let's take a look at our test WordPress website. You might want to change the header colors, the blue background and the red border. All you have to do in Google Chrome is hover an element that you want to change, in this case the header background, right-click on your mouse and select Inspect. If you're doing this for the very first time, the newly opened Developer Tools screen might be displayed docked to the right. I prefer to keep it at the bottom, so let's change that. Click the three dots and select the Dock to Bottom option. Now your screen should look similar to what I have. Let's have a closer look. At the top of the screen we have our website. We can continue using it just like before. At the bottom we have our Developer Tools window. To the left we have the HTML code of the open page and to the right the CSS styles that are applied on this page. When we select a HTML tag in the left panel, the right panel will display all the CSS styles that are applied to this HTML element. Let's select our header HTML tag. You can see that the top window automatically highlights the element that we select in the bottom window. Once we've selected our header HTML tag, we can look at the right panel in the bottom window. Here we see the CSS selector for this element and its properties. We can see that we have a background color property and a border bottom property with two different color hex codes. If we replace these values, then we can immediately see the changes in our browser. Let's change some of the colors now. Please note that these changes are only local and temporary. If we refresh the page, they are lost, so we have to save them somehow. Look at the top of your page and open the customize link in a new tab. You can also open it from your dashboard, it is under the Appearance menu section. While on the Customize page, open the Additional CSS tab. The text area at the bottom will accept your custom CSS code. This code will be included on every page of your website and will usually override the default values from your theme and plugins, with some exceptions. So let's add our custom code. Using the Inspect Element tool, Let's copy the correct CSS selector and its properties with the new color values. It is best if you delete the lines that you don't intend to change. In this case, let's remove the two lines for margin and padding and keep just the two lines for background color and border bottom. Make sure that you follow the correct CSS syntax. You must use curly brackets around the selector's properties. Let's save our changes by clicking the Publish button. Close the customizer to return to our website. Now follow along as I quickly change a few more elements.
That was easy, right? You too should be able to quickly and easily change colors on your WordPress website. But before you go, there are two important things that I have to mention. One, you can change other properties too, like font sizes, padding, margins, anything. But to do that right, there are some important things to consider. I will release a separate longer video on that topic. Two, if your customizer changes are visible in the live preview, but are not visible on the website, then here's a possible solution. If you go back to the customizer, the main button at the top has a small gear to the right. If you click on it, then a panel will slide out. Make sure that you have selected the publish option. If it says save draft, then your changes will not be visible. The button should say the word publish and not save draft. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.